Welcome back to Fantastic Feast. I'm your host, Tui Fan. What I'm gonna show you how to make right now is a drink that is a traditional favorite of the South. It's called a mint julep, but we're gonna do it a little bit different and uh, have a little bit of fusion and do a matcha mint julep. So a mint julep is a very simple drink. It has bourbon, it has mint, and it has lime sugar, um, and then a little bit of bourbon. And it's the official drink of the Kentucky Derby, and it's usually served in a pewter or silver glass with crushed ice, but we're gonna do a little bit different um, and do the mint julep, but add some matcha powder to it. So um, that it has a fresh earthy tone to it. Now if you want to do something that is not alcoholic, you can just omit the bourbon and it becomes kind of like a matcha mint iced tea. So you could do it both ways if you don't want to do it um, with alcohol. So I'll show you how to do that. What we'll get started on is we'll mix the matcha powder um, and then we will get started with the uh, muddling of the mint and then we'll put it all together and have a nice little cocktail to go with our meal. What we need for this is about two tablespoons of lemon or lime juice and then we need two and a half ounces of bourbon. And then we also need about half a cup of mint. We also need two tablespoons of sugar. And then we also need about two teaspoons of matcha powder and then three quarters of a cup of water. So this is a pretty simple drink, but you can adjust it a little bit to your taste. If you like a little bit more sour or a little sweeter, you can um, change it up a bit. And you can also make a simple syrup if you wanted to, but I'm gonna use the sugar um, to muddle the mint leaves instead. So we'll do it the traditional style. What I'm gonna do first is uh, make the matcha paste, um, and then we'll use that to flavor our water. And this right here is one teaspoon and then two teaspoons of matcha powder. Now matcha powder, you have to make sure that it's a really good quality matcha powder um, because this is being used in a drink and you're not baking with it. So you wanna make sure that it's really fresh um, and really good quality. I'm gonna add some water to this, maybe about two tablespoons. And we wanna do that first so then that we can whisk it up and this is a matcha whisk. Um, you can get this at some specialty stores. I was in Japan last year, so I was able to pick this up when I was in Kyoto, but you just wanna Whisk this up so then you can get rid of all the lumps. If you don't do this and you go straight in to put it, it will never get you that smooth matcha taste that you're looking for. And matcha has so many be health benefits to it. It's green tea derivative and has all these antioxidants. And as I mix this up, I can smell the earthy grass tones of this matcha. And I'll pour this back in here, so then that becomes our matcha water to mix in with our mint juleps. We'll set this aside. Here I have some mint that I picked from the garden. The mint is so fragrant and such a uh, integral part of this. Just wanna kinda bruise it a little bit. You want to save some at the end so that you can garnish with it as well. Now, anyone who's ever grown mint, you know that it takes over your garden if you're not careful and contain it. So I always have so much mint and don't know what to do with it. And this is a good way to use up your mint. So, just a little bit more. And then I have here my sugar. The sugar helps break down the mint and brings out the essential oils. So. We'll push that together and we'll muddle it. Okay, if you don't have a muddler, you can take the back of a wooden spoon and just mash it down, bruise the mint leaves. With this, you can also make the simple syrup, um, but this is kind of the more classic way to do it. But if you were to do a simple syrup, it's one cup of water and one cup of sugar or equal parts sugar and water. And you boil it down and then you can add the mint at the end and just let it cool and kind of steep. The reason this is such a great drink is that it's really refreshing. And it just has all those high notes of lime and then it also has the mint, the sugar. Pretty good. 
And now you can see it's pretty much a nice paste and you smell it, it's so fragrant. Set this aside for now. And I'm gonna cut my lemon. And we need about one to two tablespoons. We'll add this here. Oh, that lime just smells so fresh too. Also from my garden. extract as much juice as we can. There we go, that's better. Now at this point, if you are uh, not wanting to make this alcoholic, um, you can just omit the um, bourbon that we're gonna put in and just add the matcha um, drink and mix it all together and then you can have a really nice uh, matcha iced tea. But um, here's uh, about two and a half ounces of uh, bourbon. You can probably add more or less com considering how much you can handle and how much you want. So add that in here. Now I'm gonna take my shaker, which I have here. I have some ice in here and I'll add this and I'll add the matcha um, drink in there and I'll mix it together and then we'll finish up our drink and it's that easy. So I just wanna pour this in. Pour my matcha. Put the cap on. Make sure it's on tight. And this is where my bartender skills. You shake it. <laughs> ah, I feel so professional. <laughs> okay, just give it a good shake. Okay. We'll pop the top off. And then I'm gonna get two glasses with ice and then we're gonna pour it over and then we're gonna finish it up. All right, now I'm back with my two glasses of crushed ice and I'm gonna pour my matcha mint julep. Mm. Yummy. And you just wanna finish this off with this sprig of mint. There you have it, it's your matcha mint julep. I'm gonna take a sip and hopefully still uh, be cognizant enough to finish it up. Mm. That is so good. It's a taste of spring and the matcha. It's very subtle, but it's very good. And a little bit of the sugar and the mint is so strong and um, so good in this. I can imagine why this is the official drink of the Kentucky Derby, because it's so refreshing. Mm, it's really good. And that's going to do it for us here on Fantastic Feast. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully you come back next time to see what we have cooking here on Fantastic Feast. Until then, thanks for joining us.